Blogger Roundup. It is my organized.life live June 7th, 2019. First blogger roundup in over in a month. In over a month. It's been wow. a long time. And it's not because the blog stopped. It's dwindled. It's we were, we were gone. Yeah. And we should still promote our other, uh, a week ago, Thursday, not yesterday, but uh, we did our, our travel, our, yeah, travel, our travel highlights. Mm -hmm. You can see some pictures from our trip. Come on. Don't you yes, want to know the I know. We've inside had story? Say, and people said they want to see more pictures. I know. Well, we have to get them to see the first ones first, <laughs> I right? I know. That's okay. true. What That's is true. this show anyway? This is MyOrganized.life Live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. This is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and on Fridays. We do. Your favorite show. And yours. Blogger Roundup. Roundup. Okay, I'm sure so now after do, all this yes, time. Tell we, them what we do. I, I search S the web. No, we call it you scour. scour. You scour, scour the, the web. web. And look for new blogs on organizing, yes. existing blogs, but... Well, New, now that fresh we're, content. Now that we're kind of getting into summertime, are people kind of slowing down, or well, is not that content? I saw? You got it. You have lots to Three choose from. Three brand spanking new articles. Good. So I, I see from just scanning right here. All three of these have been on the show before, right? Of course, right? the repeat yes. Yeah. Some people think we have favorites. We don't. We don't. We just go with we what would we go know. with who puts in the hard work. Yes, we do. That's right. Okay. All right, number one, kick Put it up off. Put up that slide. Organizing maniacs, Chris Scrott. Yes. Eight organization habits to improve your life. Ooh, I'll just take one or two. It would be okay, fine. Okay, number you know. one, write it down. Okay. So your brain is not wired to remember every single no kidding. date, number, Holiday, everything. Yeah. Is that why right we do the little post-it notes and put them on the mirror? Yes. Do you do that? Oh gosh, yes. I on think the mirror? Every, everybody. I don't do it on the somewhere mirror. Somewhere where I'm gonna not miss it. Yeah, good you idea. Know, I've even yeah. I've even put a post-it note like on a glass, like to oh, remind me to I take put mine a on the back of my vitamin. Phone. Oh, good idea. You know, That's so a really oh there's good my idea. glass sitting there. It's gonna take vitamin. Oh, oh there you okay. go. Okay. Good. Good. And then let's see, take it a day at a time. Okay, um, well that's the only way you can do it. If you're ever gonna if you go into your life yes. thinking about everything Ugh. next week month oh my God. or even year overwhelm overwhelm you're not just going to crawl back into bed right. and say right. night night right so, it is good to plan though in advance right. and then when you get to the day take then it you, a day you at focus time. on yes. that day yep. right good yep. good advice um, set goals that okay. you can write them down that you want to achieve uh, yeah. Let's see. Ask for help. We talked about this just uh, we recently. We talk about it in with, almost well, every, every. It seems like a theme, doesn't it? it? Theme. Like in the podcast, right. And stuff like that. It yeah. seems like you know, we're trying to get um, help. And right? actually, we just recorded one with Chris, and she yeah. talks about asking yes. for help. Right. Very, very so there good. You go. yeah. And um, number five, don't buy it. You well, know what this reminded. You know what this reminded me of? What? The sombrero. Oh. <laughs> Who do we talk? With that, that was Shauna, wasn't it? Or was it no. Darla? Darla, Darla, yeah, Darla. Don't, buy the sombrero. don't buy the sombrero. It looks great in, really in want. Mexico on, on the beach, but when but you when get, you get it home, home, it's like, ooh. oh gosh, then you just accumulate all this right. stuff and ah. it's overwhelming. Good point. Um, declutter, so just a yeah. you know, little at a time, start decluttering. Yeah. Clean something is number seven. Anything. Anything. Like wipe the wall behind yeah. your garbage can. And do Up. a little bit every day. Don't yes. try to do it all in one day, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. And then number eight. Breathe. Let me see. Take time for yourself. No, no. breathe. Okay. Just breathe. There's Just been a breathe. lot of. That's another theme. The self care. Take self -care. time for yourself. Yeah. It is kind that's of big. That's a keyword. It? it is. It is a yes. keyword. Key I mean, all these keywords. And there so, you go. So, hey, okay, just off the, uh, so uh, you don't have teenagers. Uh, not yet. But uh, They act like it. How, uh, They're not uh, Okay, it so a phrase I'm hearing my teens use a lot is low key. This, You've so, been saying low key forever. Well, that's because I talk like my teens, but they say that's low key weird or that's low key green. Or, I mean, they, oh. they use low key as kind of like, does anyone out there know I've never what the uh, qualifier or whatever that is low key is? I mean, it's kind of like, oh. That's a slang. You should go to the um, Urban Dictionary. Ooh, I should go there. Slang for that. Yeah, so it's Who a low-key word that I don't know about. So you, anyway. you use low-key in different... I mean, you've yeah. been saying that for years, but in, Have I really? in different... Have yeah, It's really like, weird because I don't... I, I hear but, my oh, kids say it and I go, why? Yeah. This is just a low-key... Wow. I'm a low-key show today. Yeah. Low-key. It's low-key around the office on Fridays. It is low-key, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's how, kind of how you use it, but okay. not like your daughter's. Well, then then that anyway. was that was a diversion. We need to put okay, the slide up, Okay, let's put that though. back up. Organizing Maniacs, Chris Scratch, Eight Organization Habits to Improve Your Life. Yes. All right. Next slide up is Debbie Rosemont, It's Simply Placed.com. Where there's a why, there's a way. I, you know, that's kind of like the, the where there's a will, there's a, a, a web, but mm -hmm. where there's a why. So it's a nice play on words there. Exactly. Um, so 
uh, the headline is, if something is truly important, how will you make time for it? Oh, boy. How do you think you would make time for something truly important? Well, like this show every day, I just yes, you have block to, my calendar. Otherwise, you don't get paid, right? This is well, part of your high I responsibility. Guess. Sure. This is a low-key show. It's with a low-key show. High with stress. <laughs> high stress. This is high stress high doing standard. a daily show. Come on. Anyway, oh, yeah, back to so Debbie stressful. Rosemont and her blog. Uh, but I think this is really good. So... Uh, uh, it's really important, like, if there's something you really want in life, something you really want to do, or maybe a big event you want to plan, or some kind of thing, uh, understanding why you want to do that uh, is going to help motivate you to carve out the time or figure out actually how to do it. Right. Because sometimes just figuring out how to do it oh, is, that's the hardest is part. difficult. It's like, mm -hmm. I want to do such and such. Well, how am I going to do that? That's where the why comes in. There you go. So okay. uh, making it a priority and invest in trying out some different things to make it habit happen. Choose it. Choose you and choose your why. So, and, and I love this phrase. We've heard this before. She says, every time we say yes to a request for our time, we say... No to something else. So to, no to something else. So it's a lot of life and organizing and time management and productivity is all about trade-offs. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, so this is kind of what we got. You got to figure out why you want to do this. And not only that, why you want to do this more than, than why you want to do something else. Don't. Okay. Okay. So finding your way. Uh, search for a way to make something more convenient. So, okay, like how can you accomplish something and make it easier for yourself to accomplish it? Maybe it's like, say you're uh, remodeling your bathroom, yep. but maybe you don't have the right, a couple of the tools. Tools, okay. If you have the tools in place, it's going to make it easier, right? Yes, exactly. And maybe that's what's stopping you. Yep, right? okay. Or build, into, uh, build it into something else you want to do, something else you're doing. Like, so maybe you're remodeling your bathroom, but you're also remodeling the kids' room. Okay. And you maybe need those tools for both. So, mm -hmm. you know, kind of combine it so it becomes one project. Got it. Right? That's yep. another way That's, to do it. Okay, good. Uh, commit to a certain time each day and stick to that. There do you have anything like that where you have... Something uh, on um, hmm. something on your daily calendar that's kind of like okay this is the, well other than like take your kid to daycare and but work yeah go to work but is there something like you know I'm gonna read for 15 minutes a day at you know 8 a.m. or whatever it's gonna be I can't say that I have okay. anything well, like that well maybe that's how you can is there maybe. something you want to accomplish oh gosh where to begin <laughs> okay well you'll have to read, begin by reading this article yes, I will. okay. okay. Uh, consider uh, what you need to make it work for you and then build that into your life and schedule. So maybe it's more than just I need to do five minutes a day or you know every day I'm going to take 20 minutes for myself. Self-care. Self-care. To be low-key. Exercising, low-key. Low yeah. Uh, but how can you fit it into your schedule? And that's like looking at your schedule, maybe a little bit bigger picture. And how do I fit it in knowing, okay, you know, I can work this in. Okay. It's not like I'm so super swamped I can't do it because, mm -hmm. again, we're going to prioritize, pick one thing maybe over the other. Oh, maybe I can't go to Starbucks every day. Right. Maybe instead of that i got to do something else. Maybe to finish my book that I started on vacation yeah. and haven't opened since I got home, maybe I should just not be on my phone yes. at 9.30 at night when I lay in bed and said, right. open my book. There you go. Perfect I way. I think about it and then I just don't do it. Also, in, in this article, uh, there is a link to a video that Debbie did uh, uh, where she discusses an obstacle relating to making time for fitness in her daily schedule because oh, a lot go. of people challenge with that. So we'll put up the slide here. All right. Where there's a why, there's a way. Debbie Rosemont, it's simplyplace.com, and you can watch that video there too. All right, All right. final slide. And Ellen DeLapp from mm -hmm. professional-organizer.com. 11 okay. summer routines for your family. Nice. It's a nice colorful graphic. That's it almost is. like an infographic there, it isn't is. it? Yep. Okay. And let's see, Wednesday was a lot of last, the last day of school for a lot of people oh, around yeah. here. A lot yeah. of kids around here. Around here. Anyway. School's letting out all over the country. Yeah, but, it is. So these are some routines. We need. This is kind of like putting it into your schedule, right? Yeah. So okay. Set a bedtime, even in the summer. Mm -hmm. You should still make sure they get a good night's rest. So instead Everybody. of going to bed at uh, like 11 o'clock, they can go to bed at midnight, my kids. <laughs> Oh my well, God! They I don't know what they should still keep they, their bedtime, uh, whatever their bedtime is. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if they ever go to bed, oh, you know, because yeah. trying to wake them up in the morning is like you know they've gone to bed because they're you sleeping. Can't, yeah, and you can't wake them up. Right. So. Uh, let's see. Number two, keep moving. Start or end the day with a walk or Good a bike idea. ride. Get your yeah, get some motion mm -hmm. going. I like that. Um, set the limit on tech time. Oh boy. That's yeah. It's easier try to, to set try them to enforce that at the beginning of the summer yeah. than. Towards the end. Uh, you have tech time with the little tablet, right? And she hasn't. No, she was grounded from that a long time ago, oh, she like was. months and months ago, and we never. She brought had, it back. doesn't have the iPad anymore. Nope. Wow, good for you. No, we honestly haven't had it in 
probably six months. She has to do good old fashioned things like going outside and or watching YouTube playing. on TV. Uh -oh. no, <laughs> but it's not okay. actually. Uh, but we've got rid of the dumb videos that she would okay. watch on YouTube. Good. Anyway, but we limit that too. So that's good. Um, let's see. Eat three fruits and veggies a day. Like, okay. And try something new while you're at it. Like yeah. when's the last time you had kiwi? Uh, it has been a while. Okay, so try some kiwi. Yeah, Put that well, on the shopping list. I love list. kiwi. Yeah. Well, I think kiwi is kind of seasonal though, isn't it? Or it's can you get summer. it year round? It's a summer. Okay. It's a summer, summer list. Summer. There yep. you go. Good, good idea. Good idea. Uh, let's see. Keep your brain fresh and boosted with games <clears throat> or tech games. Yeah. Keep your kids brains fresh fresh all brain summer. twisters and yeah. stuff like that because yeah. she says it takes two weeks for them to get back into the school oh, habit so keeping their brain on keeping it engaged yes yeah, that's a good idea and speaking of keeping your brain engaged yeah. read every day oh nice so keep up okay. with that reading mm -hmm. plan the downtime so what downtime yeah well plan it yeah. you've got it when is that low-key downtime your downtime is probably on your drive home it is kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Sundays when you yeah. take a nap on the couch. That's your low key. You know downtime. what I do uh, driving home? I, I can't even listen to the radio. I don't. I just. I you just, just put, like I, I put on close some. Close your eyes. <laughs> actually, I put on some jazz music, oh, and boy. it's really relaxing. Yeah. And so I got about a twenty-two minute drive, and I just set my. I really actually enjoy that. That is my self care. That's good. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Find what ways your family can help around the house, so you're not doing it all. Well, I'd love to find ways yep. my family could help around the house. They seem to they seem to think that they live in a hotel. Well, it's funny because you have said to me that all the cleaning and stuff gets done during the week when you're at work. So, right. what do you do around the house? Uh, I take care of the lawn is my domain. Okay, so in the middle of winter, when there's you know 20 inches of snow outside, the snowblower. Then the driveway is my domain. Doesn't snow every day. <laughs> and I got to do the garbage. Woo, once a week. Yeah, it wow. is. Wow. I get, well, it's like oh 15 minutes gosh. before I start that everyone complains, and then that I find, oh, good, I don't have to do this for a whole other week. Oh, yeah, it's gosh, a lot. you have a rough life. Uh, it's rough well, life. It's, you know, managing a household's not easy. Okay. But it's all women, too. you got to realize. I know. Okay. Oh. Play games and do puzzles. Well, that's the other thing. I kill spiders. Because no one seems to want to kill the spider in the home, right? Okay. That's a big if job. I come and I kill the spider. All right, and then number 11, practice gratitude together. Gather together each day to share what you are grateful for. Awesome. So. Well, sorry my, my, sorry to Ellen for like all those. I know. You're not going to find half of what I just said no, in this article, won't. but there's a lot of great tips, right? Yes, and look at the cute little graphic. Yeah, it's a nice graphic. So just go over there. We'll put the slide up. It 11 is. summer routines for your family. Yes. Ellen DeLapp, professional-organizer.com. Oh, and thinking about summer and it's now near the end of Friday. Ooh, I can it's hardly about wait. 90 degrees Gonna out there. Going to head to the cabin this weekend. Ooh, Hopefully my nice. boat is out because there was a little technical yes, problem Yes, I know. With there that. was a glitch in the system. So we need to make sure that happens. But it could be a great weekend. But it's going to be a great weekend. Anyway. Yeah, my, um, Natalie, my daughter, turns four on Sunday. Wow. You got the big party? No, the party is next weekend because we're oh. having a combined birthday oh, for those okay. the two of them. Good. Well, lots of exciting things going on on the weekend too. Yes. Nice. Sure. No screen time though, Natalie. No screen time. No screen time. No, no iPad. Uh -uh. Only that she only gets the iPad at Grandma's, and that's just for a uh, little bit. Oh yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Next week we have another. Um, Full week, right? As yes, we far do. as we know. As far as we know. Uh, Darla DeMauro is going to be joining us on the podcast next Wednesday yep. release. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got all kinds of fun stuff for you. So make sure you come back 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, right here, MyOrganized.life live. It's the summer sale at MyOrganized.life with 25% off office products like file folders, hanging folders, accordion files, and presentation products. You can get it at myorganize.life. That's myorganize.life. 25% off all products. It's our summer sale at myorganize.life.